De Silva and Valencia over there. De Silva looks like he's going to take this one with his left foot. So it's from the left, so it'll be an outswinger. Janssen's up there, Jean Vier's up there, so is Dalsgaard. And Buemo's in front of the goalkeeper. Norgaard and Makocho on the edge of the penalty area. Rico Henry is the man back for Brentford. Watkins inside the six-yard box as well. Josh De Silva delivers it, looking for Norgaard who rises and heads. He's got a score and he hasn't scored. Norgaard back to Buemo who does score. This time it's in. Brentford have scored from a set piece. Great delivery. Norgaard with the header. It was a really, really good save from the goalkeeper initially. Norgaard got the second touch. And it was eventually it was put in by Mbremo from about four yards. All the Brentford bench turn around and wave towards their new set piece coach who's away to our right. Brentford have scored from a corner within five minutes. They lead here and really, really good delivery and really well executed. I mean, great, great start for our set piece coach. I mean, for one minute there, when Norgaard sort of almost played an air shot, I thought the chance had gone, but it actually sort of reflected well to Brian Ubumo, who just didn't, didn't hesitate and put it straight in the back of the net. So, absolutely fantastic start. With just five minutes gone, it's been all Brentford. Really exceptionally worked corner routine there. Josh De Silva delivered it and everyone went in. And Norgaard, as we mentioned, was lurking on the edge of the penalty area and he made a late run that no one picked up on the second phase of a corner. So a terrible clearance by Dunkley. And now Watkins can break into the penalty area. He's got Valencia with him. Dunkley's fouled Valencia as he looks to get back. Watkins tries to turn away. Can't find anyone. Now is Valencia here with a chance to shoot. Go for goal. It's deflecting. It's going to be another Forward. corner. Looking for Josh De Silva. Two headers in there from Wigan players. And Makocho makes a challenge and throws to Kiefer Moore. Goes for goal. And that wasn't far wide from Kiefer Moore. Taken by the goalkeeper and cleared away long and right footed. We've got five minutes to go to half time. Brentford lead by a goal to nil. Kiefer Moore heads on. There's a second header and low is in. He's a bit slow. The flag is up. The flag is up for offside. But I will talk you through what happened anyway because it was quite remarkable. Um, the ball was uh, headed on by Kiefer Moore. Low was offside. Got there ahead of, um, got there ahead of David Ray and has lifted the ball in. And that ball was probably a yard from the line. And Pontus Janssen, stretching back, kept the ball out of the net anyway by diverting the ball onto his own crossbar and then away. Norgaard gets it in the face off Michael Jacobs, who gets a lucky ricochet and now can attack the penalty here. Can Jacobs? Jacobs goes for goal with his right foot. Definitely looked foul, didn't it? Good pass from Dalsgaard. Makocho can spread it to the left-hand side. Now here's uh, Rico Henry. Henry down the line looking for Valencia. Valencia looking to get a run on Sterling as he got across his man there. Referee says no, so the game's still going on. Josh De Silva's going to get there, or is he going to foul his man? He oh. is. So I'm not sure exactly what happened there. The referee's saying that between Valencia and uh, and Sterling, there was nothing doing. It's just sort of a cross, crossing over. And then Josh De Silva could perhaps have wrapped it a bit quicker, but Sterling got up really well to uh, to win to get the uh, to get the loose ball, and uh, eventually De Silva fouled his man for Wigan this season. He'll be looking for his sixth, but the, the home side will just want something from anybody. Here's Williams, delivers it. Decent looking one. Janssen's underneath the side. Heads away, drops to McLeod, who goes for goal with a volley. Never really going to drop in time. Always over the bar. Norgaard, Norgaard with, a, with one good touch, then two good touches, and finds the silver. And now Brentford can break forward. Now Silver's got real options. On the left-hand side is one and Zamburic. Zamburic can go back to uh, De Silva. That's where it goes. De Silva tries to break past, crosses it in, it's still loose. Makocho with his left foot, drills and it in. Scores. Brentford lead 2 0. Camo Makocho fires in. Great move through midfield. De Silva was at the heart of it when the cross came in, it dropped loose. And Makocho let fly with his left foot from 15 yards. It nestles in the back of the net. Brentford lead by two goals to nil. And Dave, a really well worked it move. It was. I mean, Josh De Silva did so well there. I actually thought his first touch had taken it too far. It was a go out for a goal kick, but he just curled his foot round it, dragged it back into the centre there. Um, so well done. Um, absolutely, really stretched himself to do that. Um, when Makocho went to hit that, I thought he was slightly leaning back, and I thought this is going flying over the bar. But in fact, it stayed very low and nestled itself straight into the corner of the net. Absolutely fantastic goal. Makocho, his first goal of the season, only six for Brentford, all told in uh, two and a half seasons. Uh, but uh, a really, really good finish, breaking into the penalty area. Uh, Wigan to come forward again. Kipra plays it to the left-hand side to Robinson. Good touch by Mbwemo. And now perhaps uh, Watkins can get past his man. He can do. And Kipra has challenged him. And he's gone in with two feet there. And I think he's off. That's going to be a second yellow card. It is. Watkins was about to go through, if not quite through on goal, then certainly through with only one man, one extra defender in front of him. Kipra went through him and he can have absolutely no complaints. No. Now here's Matthias Jensen. Oh, that's a very nice touch. And De Silva can feed it to Zamburuk on the left-hand side. He's inside the penalty area. He's on the left. Watkins is up in support. Can he find him? He can't. Might find 
Watkins now, though, inside the box, headed down by the silver. Watkins looking for some support. Has to go back of the square. Finds Henrik Dalsgaard. Dalsgaard will look to break forward. Dalsgaard now into Makocho. Makocho onto the silver. The silver on the edge of the pillow. So it goes for goal with his left foot and oh, puts it into goal. the top corner. Four goalkeepers would not have saved that. Josh De Silva has hit the postage stamp in the top corner from 22 yards. And Brentford have three goals and three points. Absolutely exceptional from the silver. That was unstoppable. I mean, Josh De Silva can't score normal goals, can he? He, he only scores absolute screamers. Absolutely fantastic goal. He knew exactly what he was doing. He was aiming for that spot. And did he hit that spot? You know, it's like you say, say Chris, if four keepers were in that net, they couldn't save that. Absolutely top, top draw from Josh De Silva. His third goal of the season, his third goal in about four games. He's come into the team and he looks every inch a championship player now. Really does. Josh De Silva growing, getting better and better with every, uh, with every single match. A brilliant goal from the silver. Looked as if the chance might initially have gone. The Brentford didn't quite play it right when uh, when Zamburic got it on the inside inside left challenge. But uh, the silver was up in support, and when it was then, I must admit I thought there was going to be five, but six. I don't, I can't quite see. So Kiefer Moore has just smacked the ball against Gilhart. So Gilhart has effectively been knocked out by his mate because that was Moore, and I'm not sure Gilhart is. Williams and, Williams and Thompson now having a row. Jean Vier's in there. Janssen's pulling Jean Vier away. I'm not quite sure what Williams' problem is. No. I'm not quite sure what Williams' problem is here. But Williams is very, very angry. Jean Vier's angry. Gilhard's down and he's got four people around him and doesn't look in the best of shape. But that, to me, looked like Kiefer Moore smacking the ball into his mate's face. Yeah. The fans are upset with Thompson as well. Um... I, I'm, so I'm not sure what Thompson... That everyone here must have seen something different to what, than what we saw because Thompson seems to be... Uh, and jean has been sent off. Julian jean has been sent off for... Uh, presumably for violent conduct after um, the, uh, the incident that resulted in Gilhar being removed on a stretcher. And now Brentford can perhaps come forward in the shape of Jensen. Jensen off to Thompson. The referee's decided that eight and a half minutes is enough. 